Looking for the fastest killing SMG? Well, it's not the QQ9, or the QXR or the MSMC and certainly not the Chicom. Hey brawlers! Before proceeding any further, if you don't feel very comfortable playing aggressive, or using SMGs, and you want to learn, then go to your YouTube search and type, Pro's Rushing Guide for COD M Season 4, and click on the very first video. Drop a like and a sub and share the video around as the creator must have put a lot of efforts in making that video and preparing you guys in advance for the upcoming season. So, show your support. Moving forward, as I mentioned in my previous video, the recent buff to the QQ9 made it better from what it was earlier. And now, when everyone's using it, people think it's the best SMG in the game. But as I'm a nerd, I decided to go by the numbers and find the best SMG for aggressive playstyle. And as a matter of fact, I found it. This SMG is faster than the QXR and more consistent in time to kill than the QQ9 in close range gunfights. It's the Fennec SMG. I won't be considering QXR for this discussion as it's outclassed by both QQ9 and Fennec in almost all ranges. But in no way is it a bad SMG, its recoil is easy to control and it has high mag capacity. It's a beginner friendly SMG and it performs well. If you are struggling with the recoil control on other SMGs, then use the QXR to start with and gradually step up your playstyle. So now, as the QXR is out of the way, Let's shift our focus on, the QQ9 versus the Fennec. Looking at the stats side by side, at the first glance, you'll notice that the QQ9 has higher damage per shot in every range, but make no mistake, the high fire rate of 1125 rounds per minute of Fennec gives it a lead compared to the QQ9 as it has 820 rounds per minute of fire rate. Till 16 meters, QQ9 has a time to kill of 293 milliseconds with 5 shots required to kill an enemy, with a potential of 220 milliseconds and 4 shots if you hit all upper body shots. On the other hand, the Fennec can kill in 213 milliseconds and with 5 shots till 7 meters. After that, till 11 meters, it takes 267 milliseconds and 6 shots to kill an enemy. This is why I mentioned earlier that Fennec is more consistent in time to kill compared to QQ9. As to achieve a lower time to kill with QQ9, You'll need to hit all upper body shots which is almost impossible with the fast paced dynamics of this game. And even if you get the potential lower time to kill, Fennec still kills faster than that and also have a more consistent time to kill as the shots to kill an enemy is same even if you hit them in the leg. The movement and ADS speeds are very solid for both of them, so no comparisons there. The effective range for Fennec and QQ9 are 16 meters and 20 meters respectively and I would not suggest taking gunfights out of this range as you'll be taking a losing gunfight. So, what we have established till now is, that the Fennec is better, faster and more consistent than the QQ9. Hence, proving it's worthy. The Fennec is the best SMG in the game for the current meta. You know who else is the best? You guys, for hitting the like button on my videos and commenting your opinions, and I'll really appreciate that for this video as well. Thanks a lot. In my opinion, there are some reasons why people prefer the QQ9 over the Fennec. The first one is that Fennec's name has haunted the game for the entirety of Season 12 and past. With everyone using the Akimbo Fennec, and after the nerf of that, people felt that the Fennec is just no good. The second one is its magazine capacity. We can have a maximum of 35 bullets in mag with the extended mag, but with such a high fire rate, you'll be burning through the ammo in the blink of an eye. People like more ammo, including myself, and that's why I use Vulture Perk whenever I play respawns like Domination, Hardpoint or Team Deathmatches with the Fennec. The other reason is, Fennec's aim shake. The recoil pattern is just vertical and is very easy to control for the Fennec. But with such a high fire rate of 1125 rounds per minute, there's a noticeable aim shake as compared to the QQ9 with fire rate of 820 rounds per minute. So visually, the QQ9 feels more stable and hence feels easier to use. But, 
Believe your nerd, brawler, you can take medium range gunfights and win head to head against the QQ9. Yep, you heard it right. Conclusion When Call of Duty Mobile decided to buff the QQ9 mid season, there was a hype all around. With people and creators saying, the QQ9 is back, so everyone forgot about other guns and hopped on the QQ9 is back choo choo train. And yes, the QQ9 is now better than what it used to be, and can compete in the current dominant meta. But it's still very inconsistent in terms of close range time to kill. At the end, it's always your own preference for which guns to use and you won't go wrong with either the Fennec or the QQ9. For me, I still keep both of them in my loadout and switch between them according to the map. Here's my primary gunsmith builds for both QQ9 and Fennec. Nothing is permanent in this game as we receive new weapons and balance changes and also mid-season patch updates pretty frequently, so focus on improving your gameplay as a whole, the weapon doesn't matter a whole lot. Ferg is dropping nukes with pistols as well, isn't he? And that's it from me today. Enjoy the gameplay of me vibing with the Fennec for a few minutes. Do subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon as well to receive future updates on this channel. Do follow me on socials to interact with me outside of YouTube. Tag me in your posts so we both can enjoy the game together. I'll see you brawlers in the next one. Till then, stay safe and take care.